Thanks to Lenovo for sponsoring today's video. So we just got our hands on one of those Copilot Plus PC laptops that's supposed to transform the way you use your laptop. Let's dig into this. Laptop, power brick. I know you're gonna love this, Jay. Stop it, get some help. Jay hates when I do that. <laughs> Here we have it, you guys, the new Lenovo Slim 7X. And the color's just right. All right, so real quick in the box, 65 watt wall adapter and a USB-C hub over here. Now, this is one of those Copilot Plus PCs that basically allows you to have access to a ton of AI features built into Windows. So when it comes to productivity, work, all that stuff, it's supposed to completely change the way you use it. This is slim. Do you see this profile, Jay? Is it light or is it heavy? It's not heavy, but it feels solid. Like, feel this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know? So we're gonna dig into those features, but first I wanna take a look at what makes the Yoga Slim 7X different from the other Copilot Plus PCs. So this laptop really earned its name considering it's 12.9 millimeters thin and about 2.6 pounds. But this thing is solid. It has a 14 inch pure sight OLED touchscreen display at a 3K resolution and 90 Hertz refresh rate with a peak brightness of 1000 nits. Now all that nerd talk means it's a really good looking display. I know some of you might be wondering why not 4K 120, but I don't know if the trade-off would be worth the price considering how good this already looks. It also has this yoga keyboard, which is amongst the best that I've used on a laptop, a 1080p webcam with four mics, four speaker system, not to mention the new Snapdragon X Elite processor, which should give it a ton of power and battery life. What I'm liking about this so far is definitely the quality of the Slim 7X, but let me go ahead and use this thing and I'll let you guys know what I think of it all. All right, you guys. So had some time with this guy. Let's talk about it. It is a good looking overall laptop. And I think from just from a quality perspective, Lenovo has done a really, really good job with this display. And it's got quite a bit of rotation if you like. With this, you get that nice portability. Taking this thing around is very, very easy. For me, typing on this keyboard, I love it. Like I do plan on breaking my record, my, my words per minute record. I think I can do it on this device. Actually, I think I, I think I hit a record, Jay, when we shot that B-roll with the 89 words per minute. I'm not sure if I can. I was focusing on the time. Oh. Jay, come on, man. I need bragging rights. <laughs> all right, but all jokes aside, this is an awesome keyboard. Great typing experience, backlit. Not to mention, you also have a really large trackpad, so tons of room to work with, and it feels good to use this as well. Speakers are decent. They're loud. They don't have like a ton of like bass or anything. It does feel a little bit on the lighter side. The speakers aren't a deal breaker, but I do wish they had more bass though. I also wish it had a headphone jack. It comes with an adapter, that white adapter we unboxed. That has a headphone jack in it, so they kind of make up for it. But I wish it was just included on the device so you don't have to walk around with the extra piece. I feel like if you could have a USB-C port, you could have... Okay, you know what? Headphone jack complaint. Let's hold on to that thought. But this thing is also equipped with the Snapdragon X Elite processor, which gives it a ton of power as well as some great battery life but it also allows this thing to have AI features built right into it, which leads me to this button on the keyboard, the Copilot button. So when you press this, it brings up the Copilot app, which is like ChatGBT, basically integrated right into Windows. And we could ask it all kinds of stuff, pretty much anything we want. So we're gonna ask AI, what's thicker, a USB-C port or a headphone jack port? Okay, so 5.2 for the USB-C, a 3.5 millimeter is 3.5 millimeters, right? So, you know, I guess they, they should be able to fit. This is the kind of stuff that changes the way you use your computer, right? I was like, all right, I'm just gonna co-pilot that question or Oof, what do you call that? I'm gonna co-pilot it? I'm gonna AI it? Like, what do you, what's the, it, ah. That is like just a small glimpse into the kind of thought process that's going to be changing when you're looking to do something. I think this is going to hold a lot of power. It's also a little bit scary because, you know, the chat GPTs of the world aren't going to be accurate all the time, but that's the, that's the case with anything you find on the internet, right? Like you always gotta check sources and make sure you're getting it from a reliable source. Thankfully, all the info that you're getting here 
is sourced. So you can go and verify that. And there's other cool AI stuff that I like with this too. Uh, one big one for me is jumping onto like a conference call. So check this out. Usually when you're in like a video conferencing app, you can use the built-in features. Like let's, I'm gonna blur my background, right? Right now I'm blurring out Gene and you can see like yeah. it's okay, but like it kind of cuts off certain things. It doesn't look super natural. And that's usually how it is like with these built-in backgrounds and whatnot. But because this thing does have AI, you get access into the quick settings where you can go into studio effects and then I can put on like portrait blur and look how much smoother that is. It looks so much cleaner than the built-in features. And this is where it's taking advantage of the AI chip that's built inside of this uh, to really give you like a cleaner experience. Like, look at that. Now, if we went with a standard blur, which is a little bit more, it's still a lot cleaner than what we were seeing with this guy. Like, look at that. And you can also have fun with it. If I wanted to have like an animated look, boom, whoa. I got eyebrows. So you can kind of have some fun with it. And there's also like automatic framing where it's basically going to follow you and make sure you're always in the shot. So there's nice studio effects that you could take advantage of for those calls and not use those weird backgrounds that never end up looking good. Now for my average folk out there who might be concerned that these extra AI features are going to eat up their computer's resources and make it slower. You don't have to worry. Uh, these computers are built for AI. They have a separate chip, the NPU, that is going to make all of the AI processing happen there. It's got its own chip to drive it. And there's other cool AI features here too. One that I really like is called live captions. So if you're watching something in another language or even having a conversation, Jay and I tried this out then. It was super cool. Mind blowing. <laughs> right? Yeah. It translated Jay speaking Mandarin so well. That is like a really cool feature. It can bridge the gap between you and, you know, someone from another country or just being able to watch content that isn't subbed yet. Oh. oh. I just blew up. You, you, we had the same yeah, thought. Like, I didn't even think about it. It just came out my <laughs> mouth. Whoa, so things that are unsubbed, if 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 it, the language is supported by live captions, that's a game changer. Is Japanese supported? I need to know this. Japanese is supported. Let's, <laughs> let's go. I think the possibility of just being able to watch content from other languages and at least get an idea of what they're talking about, I think that's super cool. And AI even brings paint back to life because it's got this cool feature called co-creator so with co-creator you can basically ask it to generate an image so it's like one of those generative ai features but with this you can kind of steer the ai in the direction you want it to go so gene give me something to draw man Porsche 911. Porsche 911. boy <laughs> <laughs> give me something else bird? a bird i'll take that jay don't laugh now Blue bird flying upward. So what you draw here basically gives the AI a starting point or you know, gives it a little bit more context of what you're trying to create. And then it goes ahead and it makes the image once you add some text to say what you're looking for. So I wanted a blue bird flying upward with wings spread, bam. Now what's also cool here is that it has this little slider so the more detailed and more creative you want it to be, you can slide it over to the right. But yeah, that brings a lot of life back to paint. And I think these Copilot Plus PCs, man, I, I, I think they're going to open the door to a lot of cool possibilities. And like I said, this is just the beginning. With this having Snapdragon X Elite, everyday tasks are going to be a breeze for it, web browsing, just watching content. Battery life on these machines are going to be awesome. It's kind of like what we're seeing with Apple Silicon. You are legitimately getting great battery life with the X Elite. The only issues you might come across is the fact that this is an ARM device. So not all of the apps out there are going to work perfectly with this. So certain programs that don't support it, like let's say Adobe Premiere Pro for video editors, you're not gonna get the full power of the X Elite, but software like that is going to be coming. What I say all this for is, I can play Apex Legends. I can't play Apex on this and you know, it's oh, fine. No. There are other games that work on it. Now, this is not a gaming laptop by any means. If you want a very, very casually game, you know, you don't have like your nose up where it's 60 plus 
or nothing, uh, then you'll be able to game on this just fine. The games I've been playing have been hovering between 40 and 60, and if you turn a bunch of settings down, you can get more than that, but it's not a gaming device. Very, very casual gamers though, you'll be fine. But I'll let you guys know this right now, this is going to become an easy recommendation for the everyday person out there who just wants an everyday laptop. While this is more than powerful enough for creatives and it has like a really awesome display, so doing things like Photoshop is going to look great in here, being able to take advantage of AI with creative applications. It's a really good time to be on the market for a new laptop. But I'm curious though, are Copilot Plus PCs tempting to you guys? Would you ditch what you have now to have access to AI? Let me know with a comment down below. Of course, links to this down below in the description. Yeah, Lenovo's got a good one with this.